I, Richard the Lionheart, King of Kings, was born on the 8th of September, 1157. It was a day of celebration because, well, it was about me, a future hero, a legend. It might have also been uh, the fact that my father was king, but that seems highly doubtful. However, when I died on the 6th of April, 1119, it was a day of great mourning. However, I did grow to be a great fighter, which is why I'm holding a sword. Oh yeah, I forgot I am... Totally religious. I had a hard time making up for my father killing the Archbishop of Canterbury. What were you thinking, Dad? The monks are the only ones who can write. Now you'll go down in history as a murdering psychopath. Good job I overthrew him after I became a great hero by going on the Crusades. Going on the Crusades had other upsides as well. I met my wife-to-be on Cyprus, and then I married her. We then moved through the Ottoman Empire and into Tark territory. A month later, we had destroyed Acre and was heading for Azoth. Once Azoth had fallen down, we were ready to take on Jerusalem. However, there was one teeny tiny problem. The treacherous toad Philip, King of France, had abandoned us. Never mind, he was a nuisance anyway. But when we reached Jerusalem, we had to turn back because we were just not prepared. However, we did make a peace treaty with Aladdin, the defender of Jerusalem, protector of Muslims, conqueror of English kings. Actually, he only spent six months in England. Shut up. So, as I was saying, did you know Richard hounded his father to death? And he said, and I quote, I would sell London if I could find a buyer. Walk off, Saladin. Okay. I really showed my merciful side that day when I was making a peace treaty with Saladin. I also let the person who killed me go. So you decide, should I have a statue or not? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -bum. The end.